Okay, so now I have brackets installed and open. I'm going to do File New to create a new document. And then I'm going to get add all of those, type in all of those core element tags that we were talking about in the last video. And then you'll want to save your document. When you save, you want to make sure, you, number one, you remember where you save it. But also, there's no spaces or punctuation in the in the file name. You can use underscores if you want, uh, but I'm lazy, I don't. I mean, not lazy, efficient, excuse me. So here I'm going to say my first web page, and I don't have any spaces in there. And then you'll put .html, has to have the HTML file extension, so that way the computer knows that it's a web page. Then it will color code my tags once it's been saved. Okay, so here's all my tags. I'm going to put a title in the in the title tag, so I'll say my first I didn't write it right. And then I'm going to show you your first HTML tag that goes in the body. And that is an H1 tag. An H1 is a header tag sized 1. Um, you can have as many H1 tags on your page as you want. It's just the, it just tells you what size, just like the headers in, in uh, Microsoft Word. Then I'm going to put on a paragraph. And a paragraph is just plain text. It's not been formatted at all. And then we'll save this document. The paragraph is a P tag, by the way. And make sure you save the document with either a Control S or going File Save. And then when you're ready to view the document, you can browse to where it's located. And if you just double click on it, it will open in whatever your default browser is. And here I have, there's my first web page, has my h1 tag here and my title that's up here then it has my paragraph you can have as many h1 tags so let's do now another size tag i'm going to do an h2 tag and my h2 tag maybe i'll put a little paragraph after that so i i i can have a h2 tag for a reason and control S once again to save this. Now if you come over here, you're going to view the changes immediately. It's not till you hit F5 or refresh until you actually view them. So you can see that an H2 tag is a little smaller than an H1 tag. Okay, that's all you're going to need for this first assignment. It's just an H1 tag and a, and a paragraph, or H1 tag, H2 tag. The headers go from H1 to H6, so whichever size you like. Uh, that should give you enough information to start you on your first assignment.